Hey everyone, we are coming at you live today, which isn't our normal day because we have Christopher Allen from Brutus Monroe in the office. We figured if you're here, we should probably pop on and do something really cool. Yeah, right? Exciting. Hi everyone. Hi everyone too. <laughs> so in case you caught us a few minutes ago, we had some technical difficulties, but we're back now. So hopefully you're able to join back in this one. But we're so excited yeah, to have you here. I'm excited to be here. I'm very, very excited to be here. And we were just saying this is your very first time at Blitzy, it right? Is. Very uh -huh. first time in Chicago. Very first, yes. What are your first impressions upon um, being at Blitzy? It's been great. It's so much fun. Uh, the team here is phenomenal and very excited about things, and it's it's great. It's it's You're fun so to be here. Uh, whenever you see things from the other side and you watch the videos and yeah. see the staff and things like that, yeah. it's, it's really incredible to see the inner workings and gears of, of the company and it's, it's great here. It's so did you think our set was smaller or bigger or is uh, it what you expected? It's, uh, I thought it was, it's, it's great because there are so many different sets yeah. and I thought that yeah. everything was the same thing and yeah. there's so many different yeah. areas that we filmed in today so it's been fun. That's it's trickery. Trickery. a lot. It's that yes. people see it and they're like, Lots wait a minute, that's not what I thought it was going to look like. So it's fun that <laughs> yes. you guys to kind of see the behind the scenes. So. Mm -hmm. so what we were just about to get into also is there might be some people who aren't familiar with Brutus Monroe, mm -hmm. haven't seen it on Blitzy yet. Mm -hmm. So I want to start from the beginning. Like, what Absolutely. is Brutus Monroe? How did you come up with it? All of, give us, give yeah. us the details. Uh, well, Brutus Monroe was a concept of different types of paper craft supplies that I wasn't seeing in the market or things that I wanted combined into one. Uh, and the name actually comes from my miniature pincher, Brutus Monroe. Which I did not so, know. I mentioned <laughs> that, that before too. I did not know that. Yeah, so that's where the name came from. It was it was very simple to name it something other than yeah. myself because I thought it would be fun just not naming it Christopher yeah. Allen stamps or something right, like that. Right, right. So yeah, so we've created a lot of different things that I thought were missing or something that that needed improved upon, and that's how we formulated everything for Brutus Monroe. I love it. I know. It's really cool to hear how a company just yeah. comes together. Mm -hmm. And so you are, did you say two years old now? Yeah, we just turned so two so in December. Yep. So it mm -hmm. was about, was it, it was two years ago yeah. that we met online. Uh -huh. I said, hey, who is this guy that I'm seeing on Periscope and Instagram, and what are these mm -hmm. products? I think we need them. We brought you on right yeah, around Black the, Friday, yep, right? Yeah, all of our inks made their debut actually at Blitzy, the first retailer that had the inks. Yeah, and at our sleepover. Yep. Yes, and I was there. <laughs> yeah. I was in, yeah. My, in my Batman onesie. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. I was there, yep. So let's start there, since that's okay. the very first product okay. we launched. They actually have gotten a makeover recently. They but these have. are your traditionally mm -hmm. known as the chalk inks by mm -hmm. Brutus Monroe. You've changed the name to yes, the surface Yes, we've changed inks. a little bit of the branding. So these are two of the colors that we offer currently at Blitzy. There are four full four packs that are offered at Blitzy. And these surface inks, they've been rebranded as surface inks because they truly do work on any surface. Right. Uh, they were formulated to work on glass and fabric. And we actually have, I'll just switch these out of the way and take a look at, this is the glass that actually we have uh, Megan actually stamped on. And that's so cool, it. and that's not going anywhere. No, that's, it does not. It's, and it can go there. outside, which is really, really awesome. And it doesn't have to be sealed, which is really, that's really cool. That's really cool that you don't have to seal it, and it can go outside mm -hmm. and be fine. And then this is some fabric that was stamped on, which again, thinking of, of quilters and, and things like that, this is the perfect quilting square that you can now use your favorite stamps and create a quilting square or a fabric and piece of pillows. And it's going to be permanent. And it's permanent. The... You can wash this. It's color fast and it will not you can put it by a window and it's not going to I love how you can to wash that you just mm -hmm. think of all like you said for quilters or you know even if you wanted to you know do some sort of you know fashion whether it's a or purse yeah. mm -hmm. or a shirt or something you can stamp right on there and wash it no special treatment that's amazing yep it makes it very so what about good. paper <laughs> uh paper it works great on paper it's actually completely alcohol marker safe which was another thing that was on my list. I had a very, very high order when I was creating these inks, which was that I wanted one ink in a lot of colors. So instead of having four different inks, because right. when I, I started in teaching in the, the craft world and everyone always said, what ink do I use for this? Or what ink do I use for that? Do I need this ink for alcohol markers? Do I right. need this ink for watercolor ink? How do I blend with this ink? So I wanted to create a one-stop shop kind of in the ink category yeah. that worked for everything. So it is alcohol marker safe, so you can use it to stamp with and use your alcohol markers over top of it, uh, which gives you kind of every color in the rainbow now that's safe with alcohol markers and it's waterproof. That so, is awesome. Yeah. Because yeah. I know that's a common problem is what ink do I need yep. for which what? project? Mm -hmm. And this literally solves that where you have one ink in tons of colors. Uh -huh. yeah. 
that does it all. So Correct. that's genius. And I love that you can literally take it, you can stamp it, mm -hmm. then you can take the actual ink, put it on an acrylic block or whatever, mm -hmm. and then actually watercolor in yes. that. It's like mm -hmm. you can watercolor and use it as a permanent actual stamp. It's like with one stamp. With one stamp. Which you can is do crazy. all sorts of different things. Yes. And, it's, and home decor is great because if yeah. you have one stamp that you love, you yes. can make coasters, you can make accent pillows, you can make framed art. And literally in every room of your house, if you have a favorite stamp, it can yeah. be somewhere in every room of your house and that's your, your signature stamp that you love. So yeah. why not use it in all different categories? And you really could never do that before. I'm making like customizing like pots for like your Everything. backyard. Mm -hmm. Love it. Love it. Yep. So these inks are available on Blitzy right now. It's mm -hmm. the first link in the comments. You will see it as the Brutus Monroe chalk ink mm -hmm. currently. The next round that comes out will be, it's the same thing. It's just, the same thing. Just called surface ink, so you know that you can use it on all the different surfaces. But speaking Correct. of chalk ink, that's usually mm -hmm. what we recommend for planners. Correct. Can this, will this go through your paper for um, planners? It depends on the planner. There are a couple of different planners out there that there are there is thinner paper that's right. used. Um, it depends on the thickness of the paper. I always say to test in a corner to make sure that it does not bleed through. Uh, we do have some that it does and some that it does not. So testing it is always, it's kind of like when you use the carpet cleaner, you always yep. do it behind the couch. <laughs> yeah. So when that's you're doing right. it in your planner, use it on that page that you write your name on that nobody right. really looks at. Right. So definitely test it first. Cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, let's move on to the stamps. Okay. Because you have a ton of amazing stamps. There's always new ones coming yes. out too, mm -hmm. but these are the brand new ones mm -hmm. that just launched on Blitzy. Yeah, so, so these are the most popular ones that are that are, that are are stamped out, the most popular ones for Blitzy. And this one is from our Rockstar Pets. That's Brutus? Um, no, it's not. <laughs> it's actually, Brutus is a, a min pin, so this is oh, a bulldog. Sorry, mixing <laughs> up okay. my dog breeds. <laughs> but yeah, so this is from our Rockstar Pets collection, okay, which has, it. oh, flip it around. Okay, sorry. So it is, uh, he has headphones on and it has all sorts of rock star sentiments with it, but we just wanted to stamp Cute. them out because it's easier to he see than so on happy. the acetate. He's he so is happy. very happy and fun to color. He has a little bow tie on. And then this is uh, from our, from Paris with Love set. So it has the cathedral and the archway as well as, of course, the uh, Eiffel Tower, which is has been so, Lovely. so popular. Paris has been so, so trendy yeah, in, yeah. in crafting recently. And then we have this one, which is I a floral. I love this one. Uh, which is, that's, it's been a, a, a crowd favorite because the florals are so, so incredibly popular now as well. And this comes with beautiful, beautiful quotes and sentiments that uh, can be used in conjunction with it and works great for different types of watercoloring. And then last but not least in the new stamp category is our Home Sweet Home collection. And this was actually designed to work in conjunction with the Paris oh, set. Nice. So they are illustrated in the same fashion. So you can add a whole city scene if you would like to the cathedral oh or God, to, the, so to the houses. But this, this set comes with a whole bunch of different sentiments that are for a new home, like Home Sweet Home. Yeah, I was just gonna say, Jessie from our marketing department, mm -hmm. I just saw her working on some cards over lunch. Oh, really? Because she just closed on a condo. Oh. This would be perfect. perfect. Yeah. I'm, I yeah. didn't see what she was using, but I'm going to have to And we to had all sorts of different, uh, we <laughs> illustrated, I think there's like 12 or 13 different homes that are on here. And that's simply because not everyone's house looks the same. And not right. everyone, and a lot right. of the, the home sweet home sets that I had been seeing out there, every, all the houses look the same. And not all of our houses look the right. same. So we did, I believe, 13 different illustrations. Oh, so wow. if you live in anything from uh, a double decker all the way to to, uh, this would be more of like a storefront. So if someone moves into a new business or starts a new business, it's it's fun to use it in all those different aspects. Very cool. Very cool. I did see before we move on, we had some questions on the inks. So I'm going to okay. run through a few of those questions so that we're not leaving them in the dark. Absolutely. Someone asked, is this, I think Nubia asked, is this a solvent ink? It is not a solvent based ink. Uh, it has, uh, it's a proprietary formulation. It does have a chalk base, but it does have a little something mixed into it that makes something. a little special something, little that, something. that makes it uh, permanent once it's heat set. On some, I should preface that and say, on some products you will want to heat set it. So like if it's ceramic tile, it will dry on its own, but right. a heat gun or a low temp oven will Seal it very quickly. So would you use an iron then on the mm -hmm. fabric? Yep, gotcha. or the, the dryer. I the throw dryer. a lot of just totes right in the dryer. Gotcha. Cool. And then is it dishwasher safe? So it once is. You do it on once the it's heat set. It is 100% dishwasher safe. That's my, so cool. My mom has put her, uh, I did a cutting board for her when we were testing them, and uh, she puts her Christmas cutting board through the dishwasher all the time. Yep. 
And I'm assuming, it, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that it's one of the things where you want to avoid like the lip line if you're doing like a class. Correct. You don't want to like put yeah. it on any surface. No, you don't want to ever. Food. Yeah, you don't want to put it like if you make a cookie right. plate and it's clear or a glass one, you want to put it on, on the, the bottom, yeah. on the bottom side. Yeah. It's just like any, I treat it like any ceramic paint yep. or any type of glass yep. paint. It's very similar to yep. that. Mm -hmm. You don't want to mouth it. Very no, cool. No. Mm -hmm. And then know. Dorothy asked how long it lasts. It's going to be permanent, right? It is permanent, yes. It's color fast and permanent. It is something that if it's going to go into incredibly harsh, harsh conditions, like if it's in a garden in your estate that it rains a lot, right. you might want to put a sealer on it. But right. we have a tile that we actually brought to uh, the big creativation this year that we had outside, I think, for maybe uh, three or four months. And it was perfect whenever we brought it. So it does last for a very long time. Yeah. but. If it's it, just be safe, right? And, Depending and on your sure elements, that, mm -hmm. if you get a lot of rain, yeah, snow, etc. But may it is wanna... a permanent option. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. I see lots of hearts coming through. I, oh, thank you. Nobody had any questions on the stamps, but they're okay. loving them. Awesome. They love well, thank the designs. You. There's thank even you. more than these. We just picked out yeah. a few of the of our favorites to show mm -hmm. you. So you can check out the link as the first comment on this broadcast. It'll bring you to the inks. It'll bring you to the stamps. And then we also have stencils we're going to we show, do, right? We do, yes. We'll do that. And then for those that stick around, I think we mentioned there's some sneak peeks of products that are you not saw. even available Correct. yet. You'll see them here first. They will be available at Blitzy soon, but you're going to want to see this stuff. It's yes. pretty cool. So these are the new mixed media stencils. Yeah, oh, we dropped I'll one. Um, but these you. ones are a six by six stencil, and they are, just want to make sure that we're that I'm in the right spot here, that they, uh, they are a very thick, thick mylar. So they work really well. They're not going to break apart and fall apart. And one thing we did with the packaging is so that you know which one it goes back in, all of the patterns are repeated on the back of the packaging. So you can actually flip Smart. this over and put this this way. So you can look when you're flipping through, and you'll see that all of them have this at the top. So when you're flipping through, you'll know which one uh, you're actually grabbing. Excellent. Uh, this one's called Pugsley, and it's uh, matched after I love uh, the Adams Family and all things spooky. So uh -huh. this is what Pugsley's shirt looks like. So that's why we called it Pugsley with uh, his stripes. Very creative. Um, and then this one is I called like Downpour. This one has been uh, quite a favor because it can look like rain, or you can turn it sideways, and it can look like water that's go like waves and things yeah. like that. So it does create a really cool, different type of look. And then we have paint spots, which creates, I love to make things that look like an accident, but yeah. happen easily. So if you <laughs> yeah. use this and you use paint as, or use our inks, it's going to look like you took a long time to make an accident yeah. happen, so to speak, yeah. but it it's, makes it easy. And you can see, like, obviously the edges there are very rugged, like mm -hmm. a natural, actual paint, uh, exactly. paint splatter. Yeah, that's cool. And then uh, last but not least, this is our jagged heart. Uh, there's a lot of really cute hearts out there on the market that are perfect yeah. little hearts that, that look great, but Sometimes yeah. you want something that's a little bit funky and a little bit yeah, different like and, it. and and lends itself to really something, you know, that looks kind of rugged and, and vintage. So that's why we did the Jagged Hearts, which, again, has been, all of these have been, I think, really, really popular in the new release. <laughs> I like them. They're really Thanks. cool. Yeah, I think that just rounding out from, you started with, was it just stamps and inks? We had one then, stamp set. Wow. Yeah, we started with one stamp set. And it grew to, I think we have about like 186 oh different gosh, products Oh my gosh, that's now. unbelievable. Wow. In two years. In two years, yeah. Wow, that's incredible. That yeah. is like... You've been busy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> take, take, take a breath. <laughs> yeah. I've been very busy. Well, we also have new products that will... Well, yes. these are all new that you've just seen, but even more new that hasn't yes. been released yet that we've mm -hmm. been filming videos behind the scenes here today on, and we thought we would give you guys a special sneak peek at these so you can give yes. us your feedback of what you think. Mm -hmm. What do you want to start yeah, with? Well, we'll we... start with, uh, I guess, the pegs or the clickable letter stamps. Oh, did I skip? Uh, did I skip? What were we supposed to do? Um, or are we good? We're good. Yeah, okay. we're good. That's they, we you can, can talk see about, yeah. all the products. You can see all the products. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we can just. <laughs> yeah. 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 These are exciting. Yeah, these are very exciting. Yeah. So these are the the clickable letter stamps, or otherwise known as pegs, and ours are different. It's 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 fun because you can write vertically or horizontally with them. They click together. But when I was when I was asked to do them, I wanted to pick a font, and I couldn't figure out which font was going to be the best font for us to use because fonts are highly right. recognizable and we right. all know which fonts are which and it was great because I was able to use my handwriting so when I used to sign all of our invoices back in the day when I could say thank you and I still thank you I still thank you but it's I can't write on every invoice so everyone liked the the kind of 
weird, funky um, architectural look of my handwriting, so we decided to put it in our stamp. So now you can actually get that funky, cool, I guess, masculine handwriting in the actual clickable stamp system. That's I love really it that cool. it's your actual handwriting. Yeah, it's so cool. it makes it a lot of fun. It so makes you it really can simple. basically pull these apart and mm -hmm. build whatever word or whatever sentiment word that you, you want. want. Yeah, and my favorite is you can actually keep them together like this or build them however you would like, kind of like kind of like Legos, but you can create words inside of here. So if you have little ones and you're not even not even using them for crafting necessarily, but if you have little ones that they, you're, they're learning their name or they're learning words, you can actually build words into this and then have them look for it or look for their name. That's or, really cool. Uh, you know, if they're starting to, to yeah. figure out what their name yeah. is, then they can circle that within the peg stamps, which is a lot of fun. You really are cool. learning as well. I like it. Yeah. I like fun. it. Mm -hmm. These are also great for planner stamps because yes. they have the small letters and you can put whatever mm -hmm. words that you mm -hmm. want together. So yep. love that. If you guys are loving these, let us know. Give us some hearts. Give us some thumbs up. They're coming soon to Blitzy, so keep yes. an eye out for them. If you're not on our email list, you want to be because that's where you'll get all yeah. the new product mm -hmm. information. So. And I know you also mentioned that um, you know, a couple of letters, obviously you have duplicates, but mm -hmm. it's not the same letter. You actually, it's written twice. Correct. So th yeah. the two A's are actually two A's two that you A's write. That so it looks separately. actual like mm -hmm. organic writing and yeah. not you know, your traditional It wasn't fonzie. duplicated. Yeah. Right, we didn't right. duplicate the same letter to, to have right, it in the set so right. that it would look different. I love that. And look yeah, really then it's like unique. truly like your handwriting. Yeah. 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 That's so unique. You're not going to get any other stamp set that looks like this because it's mm -mm. your handwriting. Correct. Yeah. That's, yep. Isn't that kind of weird? To it's, think it is weird. <laughs> when I see people stamping with it, it is weird because it looks like I've written like something. Like you've been writing everything. Yeah. They're, they're like, like buying oh, a house. They're like, yeah. oh, please. Uh -huh. yeah. Just... <laughs> yeah, let me just jot that yeah. down. Done. Yeah. So these, so these are a lot of fun. And then I guess we'll demo kind of the real fun thing that we've been doing today. Ooh, which this is, one is so cool. The, um, this is something, again, that's coming very soon. It's like and the it's, magic pad. It's the first time that we're actually ever, I guess, demoing this uh, live. live. Yeah, so oh, that's cross exciting. your fingers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cross your fingers. <laughs> so this is our new sticky glue pad. The thing that's really cool about this pad is that it is already filled. So the glue is already inside of it. So you don't have to actually take and put the glue in or, or re-ink it or anything like that. And it's already a clear glue, so it works really, really well uh, with your stamps. And it's water-based, so it's safe for your stamps. So you don't have to worry about using a glue that, of course, you would think, uh-oh, it's going to get in right, the nooks and crannies ruined. and it's going to ruin it yeah. and it's going to be terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Chicago Snow Glow, which is from our uh, City Sidewalks collection. So uh, if you check on our website, and that's actually just residual from the stamp, it is clear. Um, but if you check out, uh, I believe that Blitzy carries three or four of them. The uh, City Sidewalks are kind of like the You Are Here from Starbucks, where you can pick up your stamp from your it. city uh, right online. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter. This works best with an ultra-fine glitter. But we're just going to put, well, then I'll get it all over the place That's like perfect. I've been doing all day. That yeah, perfect. perfect. glitter all over Blitzy, yep. don't worry. We're, and then we are all <laughs> the, covered permanently. The fun glitter. part is the reveal. So you just shimmy, shimmy, shake, and then you dab it off, and you can see how beautifully Look that glitter that. stays on there. Now, you do want to let it dry, obviously, and you can burnish over top of it just like you would do if you yeah. used a fine glitter on any other application, but it is, I mean, Look it's at just the coverage on beautiful. That. beautiful. I think that is really? amazing. Really? This is what I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> You can do it with glitter, but what else? Foil? Foil. It's, it works with, with foil. Stamps. Yes, it works with foil. It works with uh, any type of a powdered chalk or metallic or uh, really anything that will stick to it, it works on. But the best part of this is, and this was something that we, we talked about earlier, is how much detail yeah, it picks up. Yeah, there's so much detail. I mean, you can see that all the little windows in mm -hmm. those buildings all are nicely covered in a fine glitter. Mm -hmm. yeah, and it, doesn't, so it cool. doesn't work like that with, a, with a, uh, excuse me, a glue pad that's really, really thick because it's, right. go, it's not going to get into all of these little areas. So that is really, really It's a cool. lot of fun. I was always, <laughs> we, we've actually tried to use different glues on our stamps and ruined our stamps just mm -hmm. because we're like, there's got to be a way and we've experimented with uh -huh. it. So when you, when I realized what you were doing, I'm like, wait a wait minute. A minute. So is it going to work? This is <laughs> I know, right? Like, cool. let's see here. And then he, mm -hmm. I wasn't really sure what to expect. And then he tapped the glitter off and I was like, <gasps> wait, wait a minute. <laughs> yes. What is so happening that here? So the glue pad is coming soon. Yes. Love that it's clear. Love mm -hmm. that it can work with your foils, with your pigments, mm -hmm. with your glitters. Embossing powder? Yes, it will yeah. work with embossing powder. Mm -hmm. But the, it, cool. when it's dry, what's really cool is 
And when it dries, it becomes tacky again if you heat it. So if you heat it up, you can actually apply foils. And, and um, my favorite is like a, a gold foil or like those flakes that yeah, you can yeah. get. And it sticks beautifully to it. That's so it works really so well. Cool. Mm -hmm. The stamp, though, the Chicago stamp, and mm -hmm. then there's a couple other cities mm -hmm. are available now on Blitzy. So follow Correct. that link. Mm -hmm. Here, I'm going to turn it this way. Oh, yeah. Why do I keep? I need to You're like an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm looking this way. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. So I think maybe we'll show, um, do you want to show one more thing? Or yeah. Okay, yeah. we'll do one more. You guys want more. to see more? One more. We'll do one more. Okay, okay. so this is the item that was literally Maybe too flown much. in to us this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I mean, it was literally, we got it while we were in the morning meeting. Um, but it's the true. clickable stamps, a lot of you that already have them have asked for more. And you've asked for different varieties and different things that we can do with them. Uh, and you've asked for ways to create with the handwriting that's already done. So what we did was we created uh, the stackable version of it. And this is very different uh, simply because it's not the individual letters. So I've now written the number one or the top, I guess you would say, sentiments right. that are requested from us, like good luck, just a note, sorry for your loss, happy birthday, miss you. And I'll just grab a piece of paper and I'll show you one stamped out because these are large, large sentiments. So we'll take smile like and I'll just grab your this. Again. There it is again, I yep. It. There it is so again. So these are all in your handwriting. They are, so it's the same, the same gist of what you can do with the clickable letter stamps, but now it's all in my handwriting. I just got a little extra ink that's there, okay. but that's okay. That's so fun. So yeah, so you basically now have, and it's a large, it's a it's a good hearty yeah, sentiment. It's yeah. not, uh, the, 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 the clickable stamps are a little bit, uh, a, a little bit size. smaller. Ooh, but you can, can we do. stamp thinking of you under Chicago? Uh -huh. Wait, what should we do? Let's see. We've got... Just a note. Miss you. Miss you miss would work. Miss you, because, yes. Yeah, it's like you're, yeah. away. Are, mm -hmm. are you here in Chicago currently? Mm -hmm. Anyone back home? I miss Perfect. you. Perfect. I love using the city sidewalks to put on the front of envelopes. So when you're sending something to someone that doesn't live in your state, you pop it on the front of the envelope, put your their address next to it, and they know it's coming from so your cute. state. So I'll just go ahead and put miss you right down there oh and God, again it makes it super simple and it's the exact same handwriting it literally looks like you took a black marker and, and wrote just wrote it, it. Mm -hmm. yeah and it's and it's cool and i like it for i was i was talking to the girls about it earlier for a more masculine cards yeah because there aren't a lot of masculine right. fonts right. that are out there so i think that this is one that's fun and it literally looks like someone wrote at the bottom of a page. Yeah, I technically love it. I did. Technically, <laughs> yeah. someone did. And I love that it's all yeah. like basic sentiments and mm -hmm. you can just have them stacked up yeah. on your desk. You just your keep desk them on like your desk this, all the time. Because I feel like we're always like thumbing through a million sets of yep. clear stamps and trying to find that perfect sentiment. Mm -hmm. And it's like you've got them all right there on your desktop that mm -hmm. you just pull from your stack and Use the one that you need, and it's off in the mail. Yep, and I can't wait because it's it's nice because there are so many times that I need a sentiment real quick for the inside of a card. And you do a beautiful outside of the card, and you're like, oh, well, I don't really have room for a sentiment right, now on the right, outside. Right. So now you have all of your top sentiments, uh, including create your own ending, which if anybody's been following me from the beginning, that's been my phrase for a very long time. I love that. Uh, but what's nice is you just grab one of these, yeah. and you pop it inside of your card, and you have all of them on your desk. And this is does not take up a big footprint. No. I mean, this literally will fit in your drawer it's very very simple and very very easy to use and you're not thumbing through 50 different stamp sets yep, to exactly. find a quick happy birthday or a quick sorry for your loss or just a note and I'll probably use the just a note on every note card that I send out for a long yeah. time because it's just simple you literally yeah. you don't just grab any grab piece of it, white paper and just a note and you're good to go so fun. I love so that much fun. we literally got this in the mail this morning yes. so that we mm -hmm. can show you guys the sneak peek of it. Mm -hmm. We're doing videos on all of this stuff as education. You can find all of the products we showed in the beginning on Blitzy right now. It's the first link in the comments. And where can people find you, Christopher, if they want um, inspiration? Yeah. If you go to uh, YouTube and you go to Christopher Allen Design, that's where all of my YouTube videos are. That's where I use a lot of our products and, and do a lot of things, uh, you know, kind of educational pieces. And then Periscope, I do often, uh, which is just Christopher Allen on Periscope, where we show sneak peeks and we, we I dive in like the other day. We It was fun our magazine cover card live. So what was on our cover for our catalog, oh, I nice. did live with everybody. So it was a lot of fun to oh, do that's that. Cool. So yeah. So we do a lot of behind the scenes in those in those I avenues. Love that. Yeah. I love thank it. you. Well thank you so yeah. much for joining us. Thank you for us. having me. So it's been great. Fun having you. We're so excited of all the new stuff we already have and mm -hmm. then of course all of this great stuff to come. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be hoarding I that know, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I, there's a lot of people saying like need that now. Need that so now. Yeah. I think it's gonna do really well because it's just 
I mean, it's, it's awesome. It's so cool. Well, thank you. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. And yes, thank you, thank Christopher, you. for hanging out. Thank and you. And hopefully we'll see all of you guys back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central for another Blitz Live where we will be doing um, decoration of eggs for Easter using chalk inks and planner stamps that were inspired by a spread in this month's Martha Stewart Living magazine. I can't so. wait for that. So we'll see you guys then. Thanks again, Chris. Bye, guys. Thank you, very thank much. you guys. Bye, guys.